What's up, Zox fam? Now, Cookie Run Kingdom has a new game on the horizon, and they're doing recruiting for their closed beta test for next year right now. Now, I want to check out the trailer that they actually put out because I seen a couple of the character sprites, and I was like, wait a minute, this looks actually really good now we're gonna jump right into it and getting into the cbt how you can sign up so definitely make sure you guys stay tuned so you don't miss out on your opportunity to be able to potentially get into this game not only for yourself but also for your friends all right so let's go ahead and let's check this out <laughs> i'm not gonna lie i like this this dude's energy he kind of reminds me of like pom pom. So is that like a conductor outfit? It looks like. So this is a casual 3D co-op game, which I think that sounds that sounds fire. Cause then that's something I can actually play with you guys. So it looks like they have a ton of content, new cookies. That's pretty dope. A labyrinth, season dungeons, and a hard mode. So they got content. That's pretty dope. So artifacts and equipment. I'm not going to lie. I really do like equipment systems in games. I know some people don't like them, but I actually really do. It just feels like it's something to help you flesh out your units a little bit more. And it's really rewarding when you do get good things. Ooh. So is this like a... Um, Okay, so I'm assuming that's like a form of a raid right there. Oh man, the co-op is what, what I'm living for. That looks pretty cool. So that's a raid mode. Okay. Nice, nice, nice. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, they actually really did put a lot of effort into whoever whoever it is that's narrating, his energy is top tier. Like this, like, why can't we get stuff like that, bro? Like, you know, but nonetheless, uh, that actually looked really, really good. Let's see if there's anything else that plays towards the end. I think it's just I think it's just that. Oh no, he's not done. Never mind. <laughs> Ooh, okay, so they're gonna have a live stream too. And that's on January 20th. Nice. Okay, guys. So as you can see there, that is essentially uh, what they have going on with this game. Now, I don't know if that was appealing to you guys, but that definitely gave me Brawl Star vibes meets Cookie Run Kingdom. Now, I'm like, again, really looking forward to see what they actually do with this game, because, um, you know, going into 2024, there's a lot of games coming out. But I definitely wanted to show some games that are definitely seeming to stay true to being mobile games. I feel like a lot of the games that are coming out are very much so true to uh you know pc games with mobile ports so this looks like an opportunity for you guys to actually have a game that you can have on your phone and carry around and still be able to play with your friends uh, so it says pre-registration is now for the mobile cbt and that's going to be happening from today to january 17th and then the cbt will be taking place from january 19th to february 4th um, so again guys this is a great opportunity if you are a fan of Cookie Run Kingdom, um, this is going to be an opportunity for you to get your hands on their next game. Now, the thing is, is that I do want to kind of talk about the uh, actual sign up. Now, there is a link and I will have the link uh, down below for you guys to actually check out in their uh, YouTube channel. Um, I actually seen this on TapTap. So if you uh, download games on TapTap, uh, this is actually going to be the application form uh, for you to actually, you know, apply to uh, their beta, right? And it kind of goes over all the details. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and hit next here. Now I'm going to skip a little bit ahead. Uh, they're gonna ask you what your preferred platform is. So one of the things that you wanna make sure you do is obviously choosing the device that you want to play on. The cool thing that I actually really do like though is that this is giving you the opportunity to play on ios and android so you're not being locked out um i know that uh again there was a beta i think that took place prior to um and one of the interesting things about that is that uh again like i said usually games have it to where it's just android or it's pc or they do the pc google beta like you know it kind of stays more on that like windows android side so ios you're not getting locked out this time 
which is going to be great. But for myself personally, I would prefer to play on my Android if I could. So I'm going to go ahead and pick that. Um, you know, of course, it says enter your uh, email address used for your Google Play account on your Android device. Um, so just keep in mind, guys, that this information, don't share that. Like, it, just go in and put this. Um, I'm going to uh, input mine real quick. So give me one sec. The next thing that they're going to actually ask you is going to be about the model of your current device. Um, so for me personally, I do have a S23 and a iPhone 15 Pro, but because I am going to be, um, you know, doing the beta or at least attempting to do the beta on my Android, I'm going to put my S23 um, and we might as well just throw in um, my uh, Android, my uh, iPhone as well just because, I mean, it's there. <laughs> and I literally have the Pro too. So there we go. So the iPhone 15 Pro, S23. Um, now they also gonna ask for your country. So we're gonna select USA, but you select your respective country as well. Um, then of course we have, uh, should you win, how many friends, family members, and acquaintances do you wish to play with? So this is actually a really, really good thing. Um, I will say that this is an opportunity. Um, I'm gonna per uh, personally pick three, which is the max. Um, so that I can formulate a full team. Um, and if they decide to give out any extra access to like, say an individual player that gets in, um, I'm going to try to hand those out to those of you guys in the community if you don't get in, because I would really like to be able to play this game with you guys. And that was one thing that I wanted to make sure I talked about um, because I actually did see this on the application form. Um, and this is really, really, really important because I've never seen a game actually ask how many people you wanna play with if you actually win. So. So again, that's something that you want to make sure you fill out because um, I do think that they are gauging that a little bit because it is and it does have the required button on it. Now, uh, with that, it says, did uh, did you participate in the Cooking Ryan Tower of Adventures Google Play test that con was conducted in uh, Google Play games? For me personally, I did not. Um, you know, I know someone's going to ask, should you press yes or no there? I mean, to be honest, I feel like you actually saying what you did, um, it's not, and it even goes to say, it's not going to affect your chance of winning. They usually don't do tests like that, but it's just to get a gauge of like is this someone that actually um is already intrigued in what we have going on versus someone that's completely entirely new that has no idea what this is right uh so then go into the next and then of course if you've already been playing cookie run i haven't myself so this is uh not required uh it does increases your chance of getting an invite to the beta so if you play cookie run oven break uh it says to please enter your player id so again for those of you guys that are already fans make sure you do this i am going to probably have a much lower chance than some other people because i don't actually have a cookie run kingdom account um i've never played the original cookie run kingdom i actually might be worth visiting um you know on live stream on twitch or here on YouTube, I might dual stream that um, and try and get out for the first time. So we'll see how that actually goes because that's kind of interesting itself. Um, but with that, uh, it says if you have played Cooking Run Kingdom, um, then enter your ID here again. <laughs> <laughs> and I can see, and I already mixed the games because I know Oven Break is a completely different game than uh, Cooking Run Kingdom. So yeah, there's already that, right? Uh, so I'm going to have to hit next on that, but you make sure you fill that out if you do have an account. Um, so of course, how many times uh, do you play mobile games throughout the year? Um, I would say every day. <laughs> so there's that. Uh, then of course, you want to select the mobile games that you're playing. Um, so again, uh, a lot of the games that I play personally, um, it's going to be like the collecting rpgs uh i do play a lot of um uh, i mean i do play strategies so i guess strategy games um we're gonna do ar games so like pokemon go etc uh i actually like play that on and off not like not a lot not a lot i'm not gonna be like on a sweat but i do play it enough uh mmo rpgs i do play i didn't see that um so yeah those would be oh yeah strategy rpgs so um, those would be some of the, wow. And then 2d, there we go. <laughs> so those would be some of the ones that I would select. So just make sure you pick the ones that you casually or regularly play. Um, and then it says, write down the mobile games that you play. So for me personally, we're going to put uh, this slide on here. Uh, we're going to put, um, I do play watcher of realms which is uh definitely a strategy game um you know there's a couple of other games that i'm like currently playing right now i'm trying to think oh epic seven um so those are just some of the ones that i play um so again we're just gonna go ahead and hit next there uh and did i oh i gotta select five options 
oh oh at most five options so i guess we'll take this one off sorry about that all right so let's go ahead and hit next um and then of course you are going to select what you identify as in your age bracket i'm going to go ahead and do that 20 through 29 i'm kind of glad they did that gap i don't want you guys knowing how exactly old i am jeez <laughs> so then we're gonna hit next uh and then you have to give the consent to uh for the collection um for uh personal data uh collection and usage um so again that is up to you if you're not comfortable with that do not click that you know i don't mind um because this is like my work stuff so it's not like really going to be bothering me um but this is also the second one is not a, a required one so you do not have to fill that one out if you choose not to and that's for uh marketing target ads if you don't want that don't fill it out um so we're gonna go ahead submit and there we go so as you can see it says january 18 2024 15 hours gmt will be when this beta takes place and the winners will be notified separately through email so good luck to all of you guys with being able to apply to this this does look like a really really fun game and i'm actually pretty excited to try it out um but let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below that's basically going to be that everyone stay blessed and i'll catch you guys in the next one